If you like carrot cake, you are going to fall in love with these carrot cake cookies. It has all the same yumminess of carrot cake, but it's quicker and easier to make. I like to grate my carrots using my food processor instead of grating them by hand because it's quicker and I love saving time in the kitchen. I like to line my baking sheets with parchment paper because then I can just compost it when I'm done and I don't have to wash the baking sheets. I pretty much hate doing dishes, so anytime I can come up with a shortcut to do fewer dishes is a win for me. And I always flip my parchment paper over so that the curly edges are facing down. That'll keep them from furling up on me when I'm trying to put cookie dough down on them or put whatever down that I'm using. So you start the recipe with vegan butter, and I usually use Earth Balance because it's my favorite, but this Country Crock vegan butter was on sale for only a dollar, and so I tried it and it worked really well. So I'm pretty sure you can use any kind of vegan butter that you like for these cookies. And I always use vegan sugar, and you should also use vegan sugar if you're ever cooking for a strict vegan. A lot of vegans don't care about the source of the sugar, but it's not too hard to find vegan sugar, so you might as well look for it if you can. Whenever I'm making things where I'm using a mixer, I always stop it and scrape the sides at least once during the process because while the mixer saves you a lot of time and energy, it doesn't always get all the sides the way that you would if you were hand mixing. Once your wet ingredients get super fluffy, that's when I start to fold in all of the dry ingredients. So for the dry ingredients, I start with flour, and I add baking powder, and then the spices that I use are the same spices that I use in my carrot cake. And all of the measurements and everything are on vegandollhouse.com, so if you want the recipe, just comment and let me know and I can share it with you. Or you can go to vegandollhouse.com and search for carrot cake cookies. After this gets all mixed up, it's kind of your choice on what goes in. I made these with just carrots because I was taking them to a bake sale and so I was trying to keep them as simple as possible in case people had allergies but you can add anything you would add to a carrot cake, like chopped walnuts or raisins or coconut. You can just have fun with it. And this is me getting my workout for the day, mixing this batter. Here's what it looks like. I use a particular scoop 
for these. And if you use a smaller scoop or a bigger scoop, then you might want to adjust the baking time that I recommend. But I have a link to this scoop in my recipe on my website in case you want to use the same size or make sure that you're using the same size at your house. Also, for the first like 10 years that I made cookies, I never even had a scoop. I just kind of used a spoon, scooped some out, and like rolled it in my hands. So feel free to do that too. That method worked fine for me for a super long time. It is a little bit faster to use a scoop, and now that I bake a lot more, it saves me time. So I recommend one if you bake a lot and you like to save time. I experimented with baking these at different times, and I found that 16 minutes is the perfect amount of time for my oven, but all ovens are different, so you might need to bake yours a little bit longer. Making icing for your carrot cake cookies is totally optional. This was the first time I had made icing for mine. I had just been eating them probably for the first like three or four times I made these. I just ate them, just the cookies, and they were so, so good. So the icing definitely isn't required, but I do have to say that after having them with the icing, they're much better with the icing. Um, it's more like you're actually eating a slice of carrot cake, which is nice. If you don't have one of these LeCue devices, it's called a deco pen. They're super handy, but you can just use a piping bag, or if you don't have things like this laying around your house, you can just use a Ziploc bag. Put all your icing in the Ziploc bag and then just cut a tiny little hole in the corner and squeeze your icing out that way. Um, but if you don't care how they look, you can just use a spatula. Uh, and then just cover the whole cookie in icing and then you get more icing so it's going to be even extra delicious. But I wanted these to be really pretty because I'm taking them to a bake sale this weekend and it's a fundraiser for my foster dog to get a surgery. So I need them to look presentable. And this is what it looks like on the inside. 